One to base receiving. One to base, meet Pat Sloman, Romsey Square. Does our ETA want to be about uh, 20 minutes, I should say, from now? If the newsroom is the brains of day by day, then Southtel 1 and the half dozen radio equipped camera cars are the eyes and the ears. This is one of the two sound film units which are out every day bringing the South to the South. Southtel 1 is based at Southampton, the other unit operates from Dover. More are on call. Earlier this year, half a dozen sound units were deployed for day by day on the Daily Mail transatlantic air race, including one crew and reporter in New York. One out. Here we go again, Jim. Let's go down the throw eight four. Through Stockbridge. Yeah, it'd be the quickest. Right. Uh, what we thought we'd do uh, as soon as the cameraman arrived is, I think Jeff has got a very good location. So if we can take the man Day by day is broadcast at six o'clock at night, five days a week, 52 weeks a year. It's run continuously since 1961. Oh, oh, morning, Jeff. Hello, dear. Um, Jeff, this is uh, Dominique. Mademoiselle, this is Jeff Selling, our cameraman. In any year, we cover an enormously wide range of topics. Apart from hard news stories, the main criterion for a feature is its entertainment content for a wide audience. That really means giving regional flavour to parochial stories. The visit of a top French model to a small Hampshire town is a good example. The reporter is Pat Sloman. The clothes in the car, yeah. mademoiselle. Oh, bon, c'est bon. You, you sort the sequence out. Are yeah. they, they yeah, going to so go later yeah. on, can't yeah. they? You want a mirror, Dominique? Pat Sloman is the Dorset representative of Southern Television and an experienced journalist. Like the other day-by-day -day reporters, she has to be ready to cover any kind of film story, from a fashion parade to a murder. <laughs> The crime stories are usually handled by Peter Clark. Are you calling Juliet? Five six. Juliet. Five six. Hello. Yes, I'll get the woman to make particular mention of, of this. Yeah. So this. Peter Clark is the man behind Crime Desk, Southern's successful police cooperation feature, which since 1964 has invited viewers to play detective. Every week, crimes are reconstructed, victims interviewed, stolen property is shown, identikit pictures of wanted people are flashed on the screen. And Peter's personal tally of miscreants brought to justice rises steadily. It's an unusual face. Yeah. Come on, further forward. Forward. Right, coat off. Turn. Off. Right. Stop there. Look up at the dog trot. That's it, fine. Now hand down and move off to me. Come away, that's it. Fine, excellent. Marvellous. Beautiful. In every town that's bigger than a village, day by day, has a correspondent keeping his finger on the local pulse. In big towns, there are several correspondents. This is Joe Vodica, an ex-Fleet Street man who now runs his own news agency in Winchester. I want a transfer charge call to Southampton 28877. This is a Wessex News Service, Winchester. OK. OK, thank you. Bye-bye. All the time, the news copy comes flowing in. For Southern Television's local news bulletins go out seven days a week. Wage snatches, strikes, road accidents, flower shows, planning decisions, fires, carnivals. All the time, the scripts, the stories, and the film tips are taken down by the copy typists. And a lot of the calls come from members of the public. David A. Oh, what? Gorilla in the loo? Which loo is it in? Ladies or the gents? We'll see what we can do, all right? Hang on there, and we'll send the cameraman as fast as possible. Fine, thanks then. Bye-bye. 
There are half a dozen silent film cameramen out shooting for day by day, all the time. Every year, some of their work collects national awards. A lot of their film is shown to a much wider audience, for we also provide a lot of local coverage for ITN's bulletins. Stand by, Chris. Okay. Running five from now. Often we send a reporter and a sound film crew on a news story instead. The logistic landing supply ship Sir Percival loads up with armour and other vehicles at the British Army military port at Marchwood across Southampton Water. Prior to setting off, sorry, sorry, Got it. sorry. Are you going to wait for another one? Or are you going yeah, to go we'll, over there? We'll then? have to sort of cover it with a general shot. Meanwhile, the day's programme is taking shape. In Studio 3, some of tonight's guests are being rehearsed. The Scaffold are in Southampton for a show at the Nuffield Theatre. Just, uh, 6.15. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> that, that's an interesting little timepiece. It's my grandfather's, actually. Oh, a heirloom. It is loose. Well, we're obviously going to beat ITM because it's got a strict embargo on John, until 6 o'clock. John, yes, it's hold on. Me. There's a tip for you. Yes, all right, I'll handle it. As the programme is given its final touches, the film editors cut the stories which keep coming in. Every week, Southampton and Dover handle about 13,000 feet of film for day by day and news. We can and sometimes do get a black and white news film on the air 14 minutes after it arrives at the front door. But the coming of colour has brought with it problems. Now the shortest time is about an hour. Even so, it still keeps us more up to date than any newspaper. Stand by, Barry. You're okay, Greg. In one minute. How long? In one minute. Oh, go on, push off. But Brian, you're doing Oh, thank you very much indeed. Yes, and we'll have you back there, shall we? <laughs>